If you're unhappy with your Midjourney outputs, I've got some prompt tips for you. To demonstrate, we'll start with a blank slate, Midjourney's default settings, and a very simple prompt, a dog wearing sunglasses at a cafe. Now, I want you to open your mind's eye and imagine that dog at the cafe. Think of the colors, the type of dog, the type of sunglasses, the positioning of the dog in the cafe. Do you have a good mental picture yet? Great. Now let's see what Midjourney thinks. So it's giving us what we asked for, but now let's work with Midjourney to create something more personalized. And for this, I'm going to turn off Midjourney's aesthetic settings and switch to raw style and bump up the variety setting to 30. That way, instead of ending up with four versions of something we know we don't like, Midjourney will give us a wider range of options for us to work with. I'm going to edit the prompt with four pillars in mind. Type of image, details about the subject, description of the scene, and then finally, directions of overall feel and style of the composition. And for this, I'm gonna go with a French-inspired vintage feel. So for this example, we're going to do a photograph of a gray French bulldog in circular sunglasses, sitting at an outdoor French-style cafe in front of a bright yellow cup of coffee, blue and white striped awning, and bright summer flowers, sunny day cinematic portrait shot with Cinestill, 50 daylight film. And let's see what we get now. Nice. Now that's much closer to my vision, all by making some changes to my prompt. Now, a detailed prompt will only get you so far. There are some things that Midjourney does struggle with. Things like exact positioning of objects and subjects and the exact framing and composition. The key is to give Midjourney some room for its own vision while directing it towards your creative needs. That's to say direct, but don't be too direct. You'll just end up getting frustrated. So embrace the chaos.